Um, and then we end with the uh, oh, Dave Klein, John. Fox. We end with the, we end with um, this scene of like, oh look, I'm out on the ranch with my kid, but he's still torturing the frog. Um, at least he didn't eat it. I guess. I guess that's something. But he's still using the force on living objects instead of um, non-living. It's Fifty years old uh, things, and uh, yeah, it's it's just. It's just more of an insult. And then it ends with this like weird, uh, let's see here if I can get it. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Mountain Mama, <laughs> Shadow. There, it ends with. Oh, no, you're kidding end, me. It ends with a. Like, <laughs> that's all, folks. <laughs> God, that's all, folks. So bad. Yeah. Oh, I am totally going to cut that out world. and put uh, the uh, West Virginia song back in the background yeah. of that. That's perfect. <laughs> I love me some John Denver. Right? They missed another yeah. opportunity. They could yeah. they they could have had a Max Rebo remix of that. They could have done yeah. it, but they were weak. They were weak, yeah. John. <laughs> so the whole episode was like thirty minutes, I guess, because um, you literally have like five minutes of <laughs> of uh credits and then there's like three minutes here in the beginning yeah it, it's it's bad man it's so like this whole episode was just awful yeah uh it, it's an embarrassment it hates truly being is hd says so cringe i actually wept <laughs> yeah i mean i i was laughing i was laughing at how bad so much of this was like i was when I first watched this, I was hysteric. Like I was in hysterics, laughing because I couldn't believe how utterly ridiculously stupid some of this stuff was. I mean, this is a master class in just in just terrible, terrible, terrible screenwriting. Yep. I mean, absolutely, like just horrendous. I mean, I, I know people are people have said that they teach the Last Jedi as a bad as like a in in their classes as what not to write for script writing i mean i think they're going to start doing with this this with the mandalorian too i mean this is what lucasfilm now does they just they they have absolutely untalented hacks that uh are just awful and i mean and and i hate to say it but i mean john favreau is in charge of this he's he's on it he says that the buck stops with him and it does so i, I think it's time for him to to walk the plank uh, and walk away from Star Wars because I mean you're you're you are embarrassing yourself right now and and you're just you're just you're not creating anything worthwhile. I mean this is just this is just horrendously bad. Uh, but I do want to kind of um, couch that and say that I think there are some interesting concepts that he does try and like get into, but the execution is just so horrendously bad it 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 takes over any kind of concept that you're actually you're trying to address hey so. it's me and hd says i kept hearing in my head look what they've done to my boy yeah massacred him yeah exactly <laughs> yep i mean that's what they did to luke that's what they're doing that's what they do to all these characters now i just can't you know, believe I mean, it I, I think din was massacred from the very beginning though well so. see this is the thing is that like, he wasn't a bounty hunter anymore all the sacrifice he went through you know, and I, I know as a guy like out here in the real world, we're just, you know, we're not we're not supposed to get patted on the back, and get medals all the time when we self-sacrifice, you know, we're not supposed right. to. But this guy went through some serious crap like this guy understand. was up to his eyelids with with the crap he had to put up with. And then yeah. they reward him with nothing, nothing. Well, why is he even on Navarro? Why didn't he stay on Mandalore with his people? Like, why did he leave Mandalore? Like, why? What is the what? What's going exactly. on? Exactly. What what is special to Navarro about him that would supersede farming with his literal Mandalorian family? We haven't heard from yeah. from Jarin, if you will. We haven't heard from Jarin about his like reasons as to why he stays away from everybody. He just does. And now he's on Navarro staying away from everybody except yeah. the 50 year old kid. Yeah. I think we'll leave it with that. I mean, this this season finale was awful. The show has been awful, um, I think, from the very beginning, season one. Um, and uh, but this is just like heart, like in your face. Uh, the woke is in your face. The women take control. Armor, Bo Katan. Um, th like the storytelling, I think, 
reflects that the wokeness has really kind of um, taken over this show as well, uh, where it wasn't as much. I don't think it was as in your face uh, the previous two seasons. Obviously, season two finale definitely criticized that with the all female a force moment that they had like the Avengers and then Costco is beating up Boba Fett. Uh, that was clearly in that season two finale. So we kind of saw it coming, but it wasn't as in your face. And I, I do think, I do think people are seeing that it's much more in your face now. And I think maybe I'm going to theorize. That's why a lot more people are mo much more critical this season than they had been in the previous two seasons. There also was no Luke Skywalker. That helped too. Yep. Thomas Shaw. So tired of girl boss power. Yep. Yeah, I mean, the, the Mandalorians are now led by the Armorer and uh, Bo-Katan. And that's not to say that they hadn't been led by women before. Obviously, Satine and Clone Wars, Bo-Katan in Rebels. Um, but, and, and you can't, like, and, and well, you could, there's a there's the possibility of having um, a strong, like an actual competent um, female leader. Uh, there's not that many historical examples of that, though. Um, I think Joan of Arc maybe being uh, one of the few. Um, I guess Elizabeth the uh, first. You could say that too. But um, well, Satine Satine earned her girl Satine, boss, yeah. though. That's the thing. She earned her girl boss. Yeah, Satine, These yeah. we've not seen anything that demonstrates why the armorer is the leader. She has not demonstrated any leadership qualities to beyond more being Jim Master Jones. Really? Yeah. And. and She's just a Jim Jones figure. She's the leader yeah. because the script said so. That's all right. we have to go on. And that's what makes it so bitter, really, is because had they bothered to back that up with even a, a flashback of her fighting it with Bicetine during the Clone Wars or whatever, and, and like something happening to prove her veteran status to have earned this position, just so the audience knows why she's revered. Just I would say if they did that, term. that would be that would they would actually that would be something they would do because that would contradict their uh, backstory for her that she was on Concordia, um, <laughs> separated already from Mandalorian culture because they disagreed with how and, and uh, some... Satine was ruling because they wanted wow. to stay with the warrior because wow. they're they're children of the Watch, they're children of the Death Watch. Oh, we just lost Cider. I hope we'll come back. Streamyard is having lots of issues today. But yeah, I, I think you're, I think uh, you do something else kind of to show that she was leading the people. Uh, she did something for them to all like kind of show her respect. Uh, but she also was also um, true to the way. And all of these other people believed in this way, this warrior code or whatever the way is supposed to be. We have no clue what it is. But if she had stayed true to the warrior code, I think that's my biggest issue with how they depict her this time is is that she does act more like this cult leader, especially with the... Um, with how she just lets Bo-Katan take her helmet off and no one actually challenges her when that's supposed to be super okay. sacred to how they operate and why Din spent like the first three episodes on a penance mission to Mandalore. So, yeah. They never clarified the way either, and that would have no, been have the armorer's primary objective is passing that on to Grogu. Yeah, they're just like, well, you, he took the creed. He said the creed. Well, what the what is the creed? What how is did he creed? say it? He doesn't talk. Yeah. Well, I'm not even talking about. The, I'm talking about the kid. Uh, oh, 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 kid takes the creed. Like they have these like baptism scenes where they're like, "You need to say the creed," but they never actually tell us what the creed is. So we have no idea because if they did, then they wouldn't be able to like change it all the time and do all the shenanigans that they do anyways. They probably do it anyways uh, because they don't really. They clearly don't care about continuity or canon, uh, even within their own show. So I don't know why that's stopping them, but uh, I guess maybe that would actually put rules on them that they don't want to have the. They, like, I think that's one of the biggest things that they don't, they, they have an issue with. They don't want to operate by the rules of Star Wars. Uh, they want to do their own thing and, but still have it be called Star Wars.